So now we're at the shear. Anybody that works in this shop needs to learn how to run the shear. There's a couple things with this shear. First and foremost, we never cut any round stock. We never cut any welding rod, concrete, wood, any of that stuff on this shear. We never cut through welds on the shear. You got to remember, shear blades are just like scissors. If you cut through things it's not supposed to cut to, it damages the blades, and the blades are very expensive. So our shear has a capacity of quarter inch thick material, eight foot long. We're usually not cutting material that thick on this shear, but quarter inch maximum. It's a very simple uh, machine to use, but there's a couple things that we got to really get a grasp on. The first one is the hold down bar that holds your metal down. So I'm going to show you how this runs. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to show you how the pedal runs. But when we slide the metal in here, what happens is a big bar inside slams down on the metal and holds it in place and then the blade comes down. The danger with that is if you get your fingers under here, which can happen, if you get your finger under here like this and you push that pedal, that hold down bar is going to slam your fingers and, and it can definitely hurt them. So what we're going to do first is just show you how to operate this thing. It's very simple. And then we'll have the camera go around and I want to get a good picture of that slam down bar that's hydraulically operated so you can get an idea of how hard this thing slams. So first things first, it's just got a power button. Green for go, red for stop. You ever heard that before? And then what we have is a pedal. So we slide our foot in and we push the pedal down and the machine actuates. We let off the pedal, it comes back up. Very simple, okay? Now that hold down bar, if we can come in from the end and look at that hold down bar and watch that thing come down, you can see the amount of force that this comes down with. So what happens is I push the pedal and that hold down bar grabs the metal, it holds it in place. You do not want your finger under this metal when that hold down bar comes down. Some shears have back gauges that are electronically controlled. We don't have one on this. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to actually accurately measure your material. So here's our material. Say for example we want to cut three inch pieces. What we're going to do is come in here and I'm going to put a mark at three inches and I'm going to come over here and put a mark at three inches. Now what I'm going to do is slide this in and if you come up through the top you can see that those marks right on that edge, that is the edge of the cutting blade. So I'm going to bring those marks in and I don't want them kitty wampus, I want them brought right in straight. I line them up nice and smooth right on that edge. I put my foot in the pedal. The hold down bar is going to slam down so get your hands out of there and the blade will cut it off. Here we go. Now you can see I got cut right at my mark. And I can measure it again and cut it again, measure again and cut it again. The other thing is when you're using this machine, don't hold the pedal all the way down so the whole blade has to go down the whole way. Once it's done cutting your metal, it's done. And you let up. We slide our piece out, we check it from the back and it's going to be three inches. The other way to get an accurate measurement on cutting pieces is we're going to come around to the back side and we do have a manual back gauge. So we're going to come around to the back side. <coughs> and this back gauge has these little things and it slides in and out, right? So the other way to do this is if I come in here, this right here is the cutting blade. So I take the edge of the back blade and I measure it and if I want it at three inches then I slide that in to three inches. Now when I tighten it up you can see it moves just a little bit. So if you want a real tight accurate measurement you want to tighten it up and check it again. But I can measure there. <coughs> now that my back gauge is set I can just keep running metal through. So let's go back around the front side.
If I want a three inch piece, I measure the back gauge. Then I can run my piece in, and now my piece hits my back gauge. So I can cut that one off. I can run the piece in again. <laughs> so on and so forth. Always when you walk away from the machine, turn it off. Never, ever, ever put your hands down in here when this machine is running or from the back side. Never put your hands in the machine when it's running. We never cut thicker than quarter inch because it'll break the machine. There's periodic maintenance on these machines, but this machine's been here a long time. It's a very simple machine to use. Just make sure your hands are out of the way. Don't let that hold down bar pinch you. Don't cut through welds. Don't cut through anything that it shouldn't be cut on it. And if you have any questions about any of this equipment, feel free to run it. But if you don't feel comfortable, get one of your instructors over here to show you how to do it. It's better to have your instructor here to show you how to do it than to end up injured or break a piece of equipment. Don't be scared of this thing. It's very simple to use. It's a great machine and you all will be using it.